Hi, my name is Josh. I run 20 to 25 miles a week in sandals for the past nine years now. And I loved it so much that I started my own company, Shama Sandals. And now what I'd like to do is share with you all the good, the bad, and the ugly about running in sandals so that you can do it too. On today's episode of How to Run in Sandals, we're gonna be talking about loading the spring. Previously, we talked about standing up straight, and we talked about letting your feet relax as they hit the ground. So now we're gonna put those together with a new concept. It's called loading the spring. Uh, what do I mean by loading the spring? Well, we wanna think about our body as we're running, especially our, our legs down through our feet as a big spring. The goal when we're running is to reduce the amount of time that our foot is on the ground. That's our contact time. The way we reduce our contact time is to essentially turn our legs into a stiff spring. And this is what a lot of people are gonna try and do when they run in sandals or minimalist footwear, is they're gonna try and go protect themselves by going deeper into the compression phase in an effort to protect themselves. The problem is when you do that, you're actually putting your body, the uh, three times body weight on all the, your bones and your joints and all of that. And you're taking a longer time to get off of that again. So your contact time is lengthened. We wanna reduce that. The only way we can do that is to be a non-compliant spring, to load the spring quicker and release the energy quicker. So in order to do that, we have to stay tall. And then when we land, you're gonna have to hit. There's gonna be impact. We're not really afraid of the impact. As long as we're standing up straight and we're landing underneath our body, we're gonna load quicker. And then the cool thing about that is each time the foot is traveling around its uh, cyclical path, it's gonna give your foot more time to recover right, or your, your joints, your body, more time to recover with each step. So the goal today is to be a non-compliant spring and we can't load quickly if we're afraid, if we're not standing up tall, right? So we're getting our, our big spring in position and our feet are afraid to hit the ground. That's why we're standing up tall and then we're, we're relaxing as we hit the ground. So it's kind of a strange concept um, it was one that I've only been introduced to for a couple of years now, but it's helped me tremendously because we don't want to stay in that pattern where we're on the ground for a long time and we're requiring more of our muscles. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna try this technique. I'm gonna do my best to show you while I'm out on a run and hopefully this is gonna help you. Load that spring, load it quickly and get off of it. That's our job. Okay, so I'm going to practice this idea of loading the spring today, and I am going to be at, uh, on this local run, it's called uh, Bean Creek, and it's, it's the Bean Creek Loop. It's about a seven mile loop, it's in Scotts Valley. Um, it's pretty cool down there, it's a cool day, so um, kind of gray, but it's still going to be really pretty in the redwoods, and um yeah, just gonna be trying to work on loading the spring as I go. So one of the reasons I chose Bean Creek to do this run is because it's gonna all be on asphalt. And I think um, a lot of people, like for instance, when they first start running minimalist or they wanna run barefoot, or when I talk to people, they're like, oh yeah, I run barefoot. I run on the beach. Cause you know, it's Santa Cruz and there's beaches here. But the big problem with the beach, running on the beach, is that what it does is it allows people to make mistakes that they would make in their normal running shoes. It's just they're on the beach so they feel like they can just smash their feet into the ground. And I'm running downhill, pretty good decline through the redwoods here and I'm not trying to protect myself. I want quick steps, but I'm not trying to fight my foot 
falling. And I'm not afraid of hitting because my foot's only on the ground for a split second. Plenty of recovery time. I'm feeling good. Relaxing your feet because they are gonna be afraid, especially if you're new to the minimalist thing. You're gonna be overprotective, trying to soften the blow. And we're not hurting ourselves. Remember, we want to know how it feels for a foot to fall on the ground naturally in the midfoot and just not freak out. But at the end of the day, you got to push that thing into the ground if you want it to come back up. So that's how we load it. Almost done with the most beautiful part of the run. Just finished what the locals call heart attack hill. Whew, they are kidding. It's a tough one. Okay, I think I've sufficiently caught my breath. I've been running for about four and a half miles now on pavement, on the road, and you can even maybe hear that sound. My feet are hitting pretty hard. I'm cruising downhill, but I'm comfortable because I'm landing underneath my body, not out front, not behind. I'm striking my foot on the ground in the middle of my foot, and my forefoot, my heel, are coming down right after that. So I'm not smashing my heel every time I step. Ergo, I'm comfortable. All right, keep it going. Keep it going. So I just finished my run, just a little over seven miles on pavement on the road. I just wanna remind you all to really think of your legs as a stiff spring, that Ferrari sports car spring. And you're not afraid to load that spring so that it's ready to come back up again, right? It's ready to release that energy and you'll have a good short contact time with the ground, more time for recovery, and that's gonna be better and happier runs. Just don't be afraid to load that spring quickly. All right, we'll see you next time for more tips and tricks and techniques on how to run in sandals. Bye. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, hit the like button, leave a comment, and subscribe to our channel for more weekly content. And make sure to click the bell so that you'll be notified every time we post something new.